What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to an all new Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 with our Russian imperialistic campaign. We are obviously doing very very well despite uh, taking negative 45 ducats per turn. But we are continuing on the Russian Ottoman imperialistic war and I believe with a powerful navy and a formidable defense. I think we are going to be able to basically siege down their capital very, very soon. And without further ado, let's dive in. I do want to point out that we also have the ability to purchase our very first ability from the Age of Reformation. And I would absolutely like to take the artillery damage from the back row at plus 20%. And it looks like I need to improve my capital to at least 50 development to continue to get more splendor. And I think I am going to try to go ahead and get that done. Uh, I would also love to have 125% discipline, but I don't think that's going to happen. And very soon I probably will have a subject with 250 uh, development. I have a free missionary. Let's send you on over to this place and begin changing our religions. Now it looks like the Ottomans are starting to siege down our level 2 forts. Which uh, isn't necessarily the best news, and obviously it's not good that none of our forces have moved. Actually, that's incredibly dangerous. I'm very surprised that that's where we stand right now. Let's send over some troops here, send some troops there. We have so many units, <laughs> and you think they would help. You're going to swing down, and you are going to swing down. And what's pretty amazing is we have such a big navy that uh, we basically can pretty much annihilate anything. At least I hope so. And because we are losing so much money, I'm hoping that eventually some units will basically die. And I'm assuming that we have so many boats that this is bound to happen. I don't think I'm really going to focus too much on repairs. We are le losing some sieges, and I guess that's supposed to be expected. We've finally taken down the capital, and now we are going to focus our efforts potentially on crossing the strait here. You're going to go there, you are going to go there. Actually, we can't. And it looks like these 32,000 can move through, and these 32,000 can move up, and these units can move over. So ultimately, I don't think Constantinople is going to really be that much of a you know an issue this time around. Now that I'm obviously prepared, I have a lot of extra discipline, not only from my advisor, but also from the icon of St. Michael giving me just these two are about 10% discipline, which is pretty broken. Um, we should probably fan out. I would like to siege down Sugla, but it says I can't. And it's probably because there's a castle somewhere. But you would think I could continue moving. Ah, it's Ankara. <laughs> How did I miss that? I'm going to send over a couple extra units. And the idea is basically to definitely use all of these cannon. I'm going to take a sip of water. Excuse me. And you, with, with all of these cannon, we now have 18. Basically, we are getting plus four, uh, plus four bonuses. And it'd be pretty cool if I had a leader with some siege. I don't think I really do. Uh, I could create a few more. I might as well. I'm going to create one more just in case. There it is. We've got some additional cannons coming on in and some very nice siege. Another thing I want to point out is in our last episode, we did get the newer level 26 technology, and therefore we did pay a premium for that, but now we are definitely going to be rolling over anyone and everything, and it shouldn't be much of a big deal. Let's split our navy in half, send over 67 to try to remove some of these vessels. There are about 12 galleys that are all going to get annihilated. And winning battle after battle. Let's take out these 12. And primarily, it looks like Austria is coming down to assist. Once we take on Kara, which should be any day, uh, we are obviously going to fan out once again. Let's send all of these units there. Looks like we can't. So now I'm going to send both of these units to Thames, which it looks like is being sieged down anyway. So we're going to do a U-turn <laughs> and make our way across the straits. We defeated about 24 galleys, and none of them really did anything too dangerous. 
How are our forts coming along? Not great. They are about to fall, which I don't like to see. Uh, but I'm hoping by the time the units get through, let's actually fan out just in case. I see the Tunisians are about to make their move. They're probably going to get annihilated. <laughs> Absolutely. We've lost the Siege of Dagestan, and it looks like the Tunisians just lost all of their troops in one battle. So I see that the Ottomans have a lot of forces, and that makes me nervous. But we're sitting up another 32,000. We have won the Siege of Astraka. Or, excuse me, maybe that was Ankara. And now I'm going to send 32 here. I'm going to send 32 here. I don't think I'm going to focus on ISIL just yet. But you're going to go there, and you are going to stay. And so, like I said, we're going to be fanning out and trying to do our best. Um, I see the Ottomans are sieging down some territory. You all probably should go the same direction. So you're going to go to Tyne. You're going to go to Besmut. We have won the Siege of Moria. And I'm hoping that these 32 can br basically move up to the north and then move on over. All right, let's continue our movement west, and we are eventually going to start getting our fan, or at least our wall. All right, we've got some troops here. You're going to go down, and I am going to slow down to speed three just in case, because I feel like things are going a little bit too fast for my, uh, my tastes. Other than that, we have one free missionary. Let's send you on over to these provinces that we aren't doing anything with. Uh, 19 months to go ahead and change those. I have a lot of uh, diplomatic power. I'm probably going to put this on a focus. And the reason why, wow, we have a level 3 advisor. That is not needed at all. Oh my goodness, we need level 1 advisor. But is it worth spending 300 ducats? I, You know what, we're going to keep it just in case. We, uh, It's not worth it. It's not worth the money. And the reason why is once we get the separation of powers, we're going to be getting trade and therefore getting a, basically three additional uh, merchants that are really going to plow in the money. However, I think what we need to do is obviously be very conservative, uh, remove you, retire you, and then in a couple days, we are going to get a brand new advisor, hopefully level one. There it is. So now we're saving about 18 ducats a month and therefore losing 25 ducats a month rather than, uh, you know, a lot more. We've taken down Sugla. Let's continue our fan. You're going to go to Konya, and then you're going to go there. Uh, all of these units are making their way over. We're about to be attacked. I'm going to give you the most powerful leader we have, which is a 5-3. You're going to swing in. You're going to have to force march yourself over, and you are going to have to force march yourself over too. I, I see that you're not locked in. You'll be there on the 14th. You'll be there on the 22nd. Not good. But we have so much discipline, so much morale, so much better tactics. I think it won't necessarily be a problem. Looks like we've annihilated the Ottomans, which I am happy about. So now you're going to go there. Find the guy who was forced marched. You are now going to go here. You're going to go there. And you are going to go there. So much like before, we're going to try to create another fan of troops and just spread across and carpet siege down whatever we can. I'm wondering if Croatia, oh well, who exactly declared this war? It looks like I'm guessing Croatia, but are they a vassal? They used to be a vassal. Do they want to be vassalized? No, they're an elector. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm curious to see what they're going to take. We have uh, taken down Sinop. So now we will go to Trebizond. You will go here. You will go here. Still waiting to siege down a lot of other territories. All of these units are making their way across. All of our forts over in Iran are doing a phenomenal job. We've lost the siege of Herat, which I'm guessing is over here. I'm guessing it's that area. Well, we already are obviously getting a lot of ticking war score, which makes me incredibly happy. We should probably remaneuver our boats to start sieging down Tunisia and a lot of other places like Alexandria. And the reason why is because not only uh, are we spending a lot of money on these boats, but maybe we could get ourselves a, uh, a much quicker 
white piece, you know, if we start, um, you know, blockading Cyprus or doing something like that. I'm going to go after these 16 ships just in case we are sieging down a lot of provinces. So you two will go to Dagestan. Um, I might even send in another unit as well. And then all of you are going to go here. And we're going to try to siege down the... Ooh, they have a lot of troops. This makes me nervous. We're probably going to have to focus on one side. I'm going to send in some extra troops because I would like the cannon. And obviously we need the siege as well. So you're going to go here. You are going to go there. I'm hoping Austria will siege down the rest. Okay, they are done for. Let's split you in half. Send 32 here. 33 there. And now I have 68. Uh, I could split you in half. 34 there, assuming that we don't take any damage. And 34 here. And all we want to do is get Tunisia uh, to give us a white piece. We are winning siege after siege. And very soon we're going to go after the Ottomans. I'm hoping once again we can annihilate them. These guys have no leaders at all. Let's give them a 2-5. Though not the best, but I'm sure it'll do the job. 25% war score. We've just outright annihilated those troops. Can we get ourselves a forced march order and chase them down? Yes, we can. Going to give you a leader as well to get some additional move maneuver. Oh, they are literally about to get annihilated. Things are going very well. Um, unfortunately, they were not actually uh, wiped out, which is fine. All of these units grouped together, which I don't like. I don't know why that just happened, but uh, I don't want to lose more. You know what? I could lose manpower. Manpower doesn't matter. So I guess we could stay. Get that extra siege tick on in. So anyway, basically, I'm trying to get Cyprus, and I'm trying to get Tunisia to give me a white piece. It's probably not going to happen. It would be pretty amazing if I could take the island of Cyprus, and then therefore, uh, you know, growing them as a vassal. I don't like how there are so many of these. I'm, I'm guessing this is five units all grouped up. I wonder if I could split them in half, but it probably would not work like that. Yeah, I would have to split them uh, individually, and that would take some time. Because basically, I can only split in half, and so that means it would work for groups of 8 and 16, but it would not work for groups of 10, if that, if that makes any sense. Throwing out some math there for you. All right, negative 28% war score. Still working on it. Supply shortage, so we are doing well. I'm going to now send all of these units into this Highlands territory. And once again, we already noticed that uh, Tunisia here isn't going to want to give us a white uh, a piece anytime soon. So we obviously have to bide our time. 49% war score. There it is. Let's go ahead and send all of these troops down. And I don't know if I'm really going to do all of this now, but I'm going to remove 8, I'm going to remove 2, and I'm going to remove 6. And select order, send them down. And now that we actually have 4, I think this could work. So 16, 16, and then these are going to be 16 as well. Let's send you to there, and you to there. This is a drylands province, I don't think it's going to be a problem. 27% war score and climbing. I'm very happy everything is working out in our favor, or at least for now. Though I would like to pay some of this money back. We have a lot of interest. Our army maintenance is high. Our fleet maintenance is high. But at least I don't expect to fight anybody until we fight the Ottomans again. Okay, I would rather get the smooth... Ah, let's get the aggressive expansion impact for another decade. And I'm hoping that we don't really go to war with anybody because of our coalition. Let's actually verify that. Um, everything that we're going to take, the only people that would be upset are the Ottomans, so that's fine. Once again, I would like to take Cyprus as a vassal, but I don't think that it's going to be possible. I mean, who knows? Maybe it would be if I tried. 
Uh, do we want to land theft, side with the clergy, or side with the burgers? Or the boyers? Well, I cannot side with the boyers, so I am going to have to side with the clergy. And the reason why is they would have too much influence, and I need to cap that out. Sending in a lot of troops into these mountains. They need a leader. Uh, unfortunately, there are literally none available, because they're all doing a job. And we've won down a siege. Let's split up <laughs> to the best of our ability. And one can stay. The Ottomans are so large that you would think it would, wouldn't be as bad to siege them down. But nothing we can't handle. I'm going to have to pay a lot of money in loans. I have nine loans. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. But I'm willing to bet I could pay off a majority of those very soon. And I've got so much manpower that, uh, you know, I could easily sacrifice a lot of extra troops. Some are going to go to Tabriz, some are going to go here, and uh, continue our sieges. <laughs> now, I don't actually have any type of small defense. Let's send all of our boats on over to this area. And excuse me, when I said small defense, I kind of meant I would like 14 transports to send them on over to Cyprus. And I obviously want to defeat these units as well. We are obviously, uh, the Ottomans have a lot of ships and I might as well destroy whatever I can right now. And they've got 50 in the docks, or about to be. We're losing some battles. Not what I was expecting. That was a pretty big battle to lose. Um, one will go here, one will go here, you'll go there, and you will go there. Alright, some of our units have been defeated. Is this going to be the final battle of Trebizond? Yes, it is. So now we can send one here, we can send one to Yerevan, and one can go to Guria. <laughs> All right, the Ottomans are, they have a lot of units. I saw about 90,000 in about one area. All right, let's immediately take out the Tunisian fleet and let the families fight it out. And it looks like we're about to take out some three-decker ships, which are obviously very expensive. Well, we didn't take out any, but we were victorious. Where are they retreating to? <laughs> the opposite way. Let's destroy these 16 units. Same thing, mainly galleys and heavy ships. Military access from Spain? I don't think so. Okay, we are finally losing some ships. Which obviously isn't necessarily the worst thing in the world, but we're losing about 72 ducats a month in army maintenance, and I don't like that. Our fort maintenance is fairly high as well. Part of me wants to end this war, and that's not going to happen until we get a white piece with Tunisia. And I would like to siege down um, Cyprus, but I don't have the, uh, you know, the ability to do it. I could send these units through. They're probably going to get attacked, but that doesn't mean we can't try. Let's split these in half. 18 will go there. 17 will go there. We have lost the Siege of Ro. Not too bad. And all of you will go to Tabriz. You two will go to Tabriz. Uh, all three of you can go to Mosul. And I guess we could send another to Mosul as well. I feel like this is going much slower than we had originally anticipated. But we have 42% almost. I'm guessing, nope, still 42%. Is it going to be successful? No, it is not. And part of me is kind of curious as to how much land, you know, what is the war score with Croatia? 24% while we have 39 So once they have their end of this war, uh, I guess my question is, how much territory are we going to have to recapture? Probably a lot.
Okay, 42% war score. You're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. You need to go down to Tabriz. You can go to Tabriz. And you can go here. Do we have eight cannon? No, we do not. Oh, you know what? We never actually unlock that. So that's why it's not working. <laughs> we need the Napoleonic Warfare, and we also need the Russian Empire. And so that means we should probably spend a lot of development in our capital. Uh, let's do that now. And I'm only going to be using about... I guess we can only do this twice. One, two... So we're throwing in some military power. I absolutely don't want to use our diplomatic power just yet. I do want to get the separation of powers sometime soon. But I don't want to have to get these 15% ahead of time penalties. Alright, our wars are going well. Or at least they should be. Oh, let's send these units to Jill. Ooh, no. Should I destroy the walls of Tabriz? I don't want to, but I think it needs to happen. I'm so sick of fighting in all of these mountains. Like, I do, like, siege after siege. Uh, our 14 ships are being defeated, which is not good. Can we run away? Not until the night. They're going to all get sunk. That's exactly what I was scared of. <laughs> we lost all 14 ships, but now all the Ottomans are going to get obliterated, or they should be. You're going to go here, and you're going to go there. Defeat the Tunisians. They've somehow outmaneuvered us. They were able to go from here to here to here, while we couldn't even move one. Anyway, we still have 44% war score. I'm ready for this war to end. And I'm wondering... So, let's clear the offer... Can I make Cyprus a... No, they don't want to be my vassal by any means. And it looks like they're going to be dealing with some rebel threats as well. We are down to negative 69 treasury every single month. Well, what if we cleared this out and we did something like this? Can we take Jerusalem yet? Probably. And I kind of want to just see what I can conquer. Okay, now remember, we also need to return some provinces to Hungary. So then we don't have to conquer them later. <laughs> there should be a few more, but I don't see them here because they're sieged down by the enemy, which is silly. Um, can I take Constantinople? No. So now this is where the extent of our conquest lies. Uh, this is all we can really take, at least for now. So I need to keep conquering what I can. Uh, let's destroy the... I don't think I want to destroy the particularists if we don't need to. All right, the war is over between um, Croatia. And it looks like Serbia is now a viable vassal. So let's go ahead and proclaim a guarantee so nobody attacks Serbia. And I'm going to try to get them as a vassal. That would be pretty awesome. They do have a lot of provinces. I have 999 Diplo power, and unfortunately I don't want to pay... Well, I don't think I mind paying this 5% penalty. So let's go ahead, start working on additional uh, trade ideas... Let's get the shrewd commerce practice and an additional merchant. And so that means our actual income is going to grow substantially. And now what we need to do is throw a merchant in here and try to just funnel trade wherever we can. Which I'm guessing is here. So right now, 4.56 ducats are moving one way. And basically, I think it's just going to boost up the amount that we're pushing, supposedly. Got some units all the way over here in the east. Not great. But I think what I want to do is move into ISIL. Uh, Sugla is ours. Let's move you all the way over to Times. And we could take one of these units out, push it to Times. And see where we continue to grow. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to put a cut in this episode. So thank you all for joining me. And I will see you in their next adventure.